In this episode of our AEW Universe Mode, we are on the road to our biggest show of the year, All in London Live from Wembley Stadium. A show which may contain the bloodiest match in AEW history. A match so bloody, a match so violent that if it happened on AEW TV, TNT executives would kick them off the network instantly. And the road to All in London starts here on Dynamite. Athena and Jamie Hayter will take on Sky Blue and Trinity in our opening match. Kyle O'Reilly with the Undisputed Kingdom will take on Orange Cassidy. Hangman will take on Eddie Kingston. And in our main event, Darby Allen gets a rematch for the international title, challenges Christian Cage to a casket match. All right, week one in our build to All in London. Athena and Jamie Hayter defeat Sky Blue and Trinity in a women's tag team match. Up next, we had a scheduled match against Kyle O'Reilly and Orange Cassidy. Bullet Club Gold runs down to the ring. Talk about adding insult to injury, JR. Destroying every member before they even have a chance to react and stealing Trio's titles. Hangman and Eddie Kingston ends in a no DQ. Eddie Kingston gets a little too frustrated and ends up using a chair on the Hangman. And in our main event, it's Darby Allen's rematch for the International Championship in a casket match. And Darby Allen ends up winning this match by superplexing Christian Cage off the top of a ladder right into the casket new international champion darby allen but his celebration is cut short because a masked assassin enters the ring hits darby allen with a gts and then the assassin turns his back to the camera revealing the back of his hoodie to say best in the world all right so for week two on our road to all in our opening match the young bucks return supporting a new look and they take on the hired guns all right so for week two in our opening match the young bucks make a return to aew although they're sporting a new look they get a win over the hired guns. AEW champion Samoa Joe defeats Brody King in our next match. In our semi-main event, Darby Allen issues a no disqualification open challenge for the international championship, which is answered by Kyle Fletcher. Darby Allen is able to win this match. Darby Allen is able to pick up the win over Kyle Fletcher and retain his title. After the match, the assassin appears on the Titan Tron and says, Darby Allen, tired of you disgracing the international title with all these needless bloodbaths you seem to be addicted to. So at all in London, I'm gonna beat you at your own game, challenge you to a real glass match. And after I throw your lifeless corpse into broken glass, I will cleanse this title of your bloodstains. Then in our main event, we saw the Bucks return in the first match of the night. And in our main event of the night, Mercedes Monet makes her debut and defeats Tony Storm. All right, so our opening match, will see the new leader, Trio's champions. Jay White will take on the former leader, Adam Cole, after Bullet Club Gold comes in and steals the title from an unsuspecting United United Kingdom, Undisputed Kingdom. Next up, we see Athena versus Chris Statlander in a one-on-one -on -one match. After that, we have Mox versus Hangman. This comes, this comes after a couple weeks ago when Hangman and Kingston had a match that ended in a no DQ. And in our main event, we see Will Ospreay and AEW World Champion Samoa Joe take on two-thirds of the House of Black and Malachi Black and Brody King. Adam Cole is able to make work of Jay White in an impressive way. Chris Statlander picks up a win over Athena. The scheduled Mox versus Hangman match doesn't even get started because Mox comes down the ring with a weapon already in hand and a brawl ensues. The scheduled match between John Moxley and Hangman Adam Page never gets started because after Hangman makes his entrance, every member of the combat club comes down to the ring with a weapon in hand and issues a beatdown on Hangman Adam Page. And in our main event, two-thirds of the House of Black is able to defeat Will Ospreay and the world champion Samoa Joe. All right, so for our go-home episode, All in London, our opening match is a no-disqualification tag match where Orange Cassidy and Hood Look pick up the victory over Aussie Open. Next up on the show, we see Hangman Page walking backstage looking for partners to help him at All In against the Blackpool Combat Club. He eventually runs into Roosh and Black Taurus. Nobody says anything, but every man nods in agreement. At All In London, it'll be the Blackpool Combat Club in an Anarchy in the UK match against the new team, Cowboy Bullshit. Next up on Dynamite, we get a Darby Allen promo where he responds to the assassin saying that these extreme matches are part of who I really am. Am. And I may not know exactly who you are, but it all in, right before I throw your lifeless corpse into broken glass, I'm gonna take off your mask and show the world that you're not who you pretend to be. Our next match on Dynamite saw Will Ospreay and on Buddy Matthews. Will Ospreay picks up the victory. And then in our main event, we've got a woman's one-on-one -on -one match. Sheeta takes on
Milan Monet and Mercedes Monet picks up the victory right before All in London. And we have arrived at our biggest show of the year, All in London, live from Wembley Stadium. Let's not do any more stalling. Let's not do any more stalling. Let's run down this card and let's hop right into these matches. To open up the show, we've got the newly formed team of Cowboy Bullshit taking on the Blackpool Combat Club in an Anarchy in the UK match. A women's triple threat for the AEW women's title. Mercedes Monet, Chris Statlander, and current champion Maki Ito. Next up, we have the Assassin versus Darby Allen in a Broken Glass Deathmatch International Championship. If you remember, the Assassin debuts on Dynamite, hits Darby with a GTS, shows the back of his hoodie, which says best in the world, and then says he's going to take the title from Darby by beating him in his own. And then he says he's going to take the title from Darby by beating him at his own game. Next up for the World Tag Team Championship, we have the Golden Lovers versus the new corporate Young Bucks. I don't have a render for them yet. If anybody out there does have a render of the new Young Bucks, send that over to me. But for right now, this is what they will look like. Up next could be the Absolute Show Stealer. We've got Will Ospreay taking on Swerve Strickland in an Iron Man match. Both men have been unsuccessful in taking the title off of Samoa Joe. So in this match, we will determine who really is the better of the two, and the winner will face Samoa Joe for the title at All Out. In our semi-main event, after stealing the trio's championship from the Undisputed Kingdom on Dynamite, the Undisputed Kingdom gets their shot back at the trio's championship against Bullet Club Gold. And in our main event, picking up some wins over Samoa Joe, other title competitors, Malachi Black challenges for the AEW World Championship against Samoa Joe. And here we go, the Blackpool Combat Club. Eddie Kingston already hits a back fist going into the cover. This match just started. Taurus kicks out at two. Damn, I couldn't even finish the intro. Here we go with the Blackpool Combat Club versus Cowboy Bullshit. Roosh, double underhook pile driver. Mox is on the floor. This match is breaking down quick. Exactly what we would expect from an anarchy match. Eddie Kingston with another back fist. The referee's counting. Mox is eliminated. Taurus is eliminated. We have two eliminates just like that. It's now it's now just Roosh and Hangman versus Kingston and Danielson. Danielson running into Gary in the corner. The referee can't find a way back in the ring to count this pin. Hangman kicks out at two. Roosh now has Eddie Kingston. This is the same way he just eliminated Moxley with the double underhook on the floor. Roosh now into the cover. And Roosh eliminates Eddie Kingston. Brian Danielson is all by himself. He's got to make quick work of these weapons if he wants to stay alive in this match. Cowboy bullshit running an absolute. And now Roosh again. No way Roosh eliminates him. Oh my god, double underhook. Okay, Hangman's not good thing that the tag teaming in this game never works, but Hangman goes into the cover. Ooh, Brian stays in the match but gets clocked. He's getting hit with a hockey stick in a triangle choke. It's not looking good for Danielson in the combat club here. Roosh into the cover. Danielson out at two again. Hangman looks like he wants the lariat. He misses. Now Hangman picks Danielson up. Danielson floats over, but he's right into Roosh with an elbow. Irish whip from Roosh. He goes under. Hangman hit Roosh on accident. Now Heyman elbow to the back of Brian's head. Brian trying to roll out of the ring to get any type of separation here. Hangman elbow drop off the top on Danielson. Now Hangman with these hard knees to the gut of Brian Danielson and a spinning lariat from the Hangman. Roosh follows it up with a standing moonsault. Hangman now Enziguri on the floor. It doesn't even look like Cowboy Bullshit is trying to win the match at this point. They're just trying to inflict as much damage as possible on the combat club. Hangman now choking Brian out. Roosh is waiting. Roosh is waiting just behind with these steel steps. Brian able to get out of this arm trapped cross face here. Roosh throws Brian into the stairs. Picks him back. Ooh, Brian able to reverse the hangman there. There again though. Alley oop into the barricade. Face first off the corner goes Danielson. Danielson again though with some fight going behind. Trying to grab a hold of Roosh but he just can't get in the offense in. Hangman again with these knees trying to drive the air out of Brian Danielson. Hangman into the cover. He believes this is the end of the match. And it is. Cowboy bullshit runs a complete mock of the Blackpool Combat Club. And here we go. We're officially underway for the women's title here at All in London. Triple threat match. Ito and Monet go right for each other. Ito starting off the match with these hard headbutts that she's been known for. Reverse Irish whip by Statlander. Kick to the gut. Monet comes in hard. Statlander ducks though. Statlander with an Irish whip. Ito comes in from the side. Tornado DDT. Monet from behind. Ooh, backbreaker. But then Statlander with a reverse clothesline. Statlander now. Ooh, these rapid gut busters and just throwing her across the ring. Ito, though, goes into a backbreaker of her own. Statlander rolls out of the ring to get some air, but Ito goes into the cover. Monet uh, able to get out it too. Statlander comes in, hits a German suplex. Statlander is showing her power in, early in this match. Statlander now has her up in the air, showing off the strength. Delayed vertical suplex. Perhaps took too long, though. Allowed Ito to get 
get back in the ring. Mercedes, arm trap, neck breaker. Statlander again with another suplex, continuing to throw her competitors. Ito answers with a suplex of her own, rolls through Rainmaker by Ito. Ito hits the ropes, diving headbutt. Mercedes now with Ito on her shoulders. Snake eyes off the turnbuckle, goes Ito. Statlander comes in with a hard shoulder tackle. Statlander now coming in with a chair. Gotta remember a triple, gotta remember a triple threat match. There's no disqualification. Statlander pulls back Monet, hard clothesline. Just misses hitting the chair. Ito off the rope, springboard forearm. Mercedes now moving in for the attack. Kick to the gut, DDT on the champion. The champion rolling to the outside. Statlander now has Monet, har has Monet caught on the rope. Statlander now moves to the apron. Picks Monet up, hard backbreaker on the apron. Ito comes in and gets caught with a neck breaker. Chris Statlander is all over her competitors right now for another stalling suplex on the outside. Ito comes in with a dive and hits fucking nothing. Oh my god. And now Ito and Statlander back in the ring after Ito just missed that big dive. Ito running DDT on the chair. Now Mercedes moving in on Statlander. She got DDT'd on the chair. Very smart move. But Ito is a scrappy champion. She's not going to give up that easy. Statlander rolls out of the ring knowing she's the most vulnerable person in this match right now. Ito grabs Monet. Hard European uppercut to the back of the head. Statlander again with a shoulder tackle. Statlander finally gets the chair. And she's letting Ito have it after that DDT. Monet rolls out of the ring. Gets the chair from Statlander. Hard drop kick by Monet. Monet now gets Statlander up, vertical suplex. And she is not letting go. Looking for those triple vertical suplexes. Can she hit the last one? She does. Floats over into the cover, but Ito's not gonna let that happen. Ito with just a running headbutt to Chris Statlander, knocks her out of the ring. Now more headbutts on Mercedes Monet. She picks up Monet, hard knee strike to the face. Monet rolls out of the ring, and we now we're seeing why the women's champion has been so dominant. Statlander now lifts up Monet. Monet gets out, rolls through, goes for the enziguri, but misses. Ito now hits both competitors with a DDT. Ito starts showing off a little bit and gets caught. Hard kick to the back. Goes for the shoulder tackle again, but Monet blocks it. Doesn't matter, she throws her against the apron. Ito now rolling both competitors back back into the ring. Chris Statlander again grabs the chair, goes right for the champion, hits her in the back of the head with it. Now Statlander on the offense. Irish whips Monet. The ref gets in the way though. Ooh, doesn't matter. Hard lariat. Statlander trying to end this match. Monet's not going to let it happen. Or Ito's not going to let it happen. Hard DDT. Ito saw the finish of the match coming. Steps in, swinging neckbreaker. Monet again misses that Shining Wizard. Another DDT by the champion. The champion now got Monet possibly where she wants her. Gonna get her in the turnbuckle. Spinning Tornado DDT off the leg of the chair. This could be the end of the match right here. Monet's able to save her chances. Statlander now has Monet. Ooh, pump handle suplex. Ito goes for the chair though. Drops it to break up the pin. Ito again picks up the chair. Hits Statlander in the face with it. Mmm, hard strikes. Ito off the ropes, but Mer Mercedes, Mercedes throws Ito into Statlander who gets caught looking for a double team maneuver here. Mm, double drop. And now Ito's forced to roll out of the ring. Statlander lifts up Monet again, going for the, another stalling suplex, but she telegraphs it this time. Ito back in the ring with a kendo stick. Statlander again looking for the suplex. Comes out with a knee to the face. Ito again breaks it up before a one count. Statlander's forced to roll out of the ring. Picks the kendo stick back up. Mercedes Monet is completely helpless here. Just getting struck with it. But she reverses. Statlander from behind. Zigzag. Statlander now on the outside of the ring looking for another weapon. Gets another kendo stick. Mm, brains Ito with it. Again, this time able to knock her down. But Mercedes now moving in. Mercedes now moves in on Statlander. DDT. Now she drags her back to the middle of the ring possibly looking for a pinfall this champion stunned possibly took too long there ito no way she's gonna hit a vertebraker i don't even know what that was i thought that was gonna be a vertebraker hard back elbow that lander now all around Alone in the ring with Monet. Diving body splash. Statlander goes into the cover. Champion's in the ring. Can't she break it up? Does it a two count. Ito whips Statlander into the corner. What's she looking for? Tornado DDT off the second rope. Now Mercedes. Hard thrust kick. She shows off, but Ito is almost right back to her feet. Atomic drop body press by the champion. The champion goes outside the ring. Again picks up a kendo stick. And now Mercedes Monet. Straight jacket neck breaker. Looking to take the championship here. And Ito kicks out at 2.9, saving her title. Statlander back in the ring gets caught by Monet. Hard kick to the back. Mercedes Monet now with these hard strikes. Mercedes knees Ito in the face, goes right for the cover, and wins the AEW World Championship. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This could possibly be one of the most violent matches in wrestling history. We've got a broken glass match between The Assassin and Darby Allin. For the international championship we still don't know who the assassin is the only clues we have to go on is it says best in the world on the back of his hoodie and he's hit a gts on darby allen 
Darby Allen with a drop kick though, just avoids those broken glass shards. Darby going under the ring for a weapon. What could he be thinking? Darby pulls out a ladder. Not satisfied with the broken glass already in the ring. Darby puts a ladder in. Possibly looking for a suplex onto that ladder. Darby hits him with a stunner though. Darby trapping the assassin up in the turnbuckle. What could Darby Allen be looking for? As he goes to the top, is Darby looking for a coast to coast here? Darby Allen jumps, hits the coast to coast and lands on the broken glass sacrificing himself. You can see the wounds on his body taking a toll on him in this mat. The assassin has been beating the dog shit out of this man. Darby Allen though, crucifix bomb. Darby Allen is not giving up despite Bite being as beat up and mangled as he is. Darby Allen's not giving up. Darby Allen then goes under the ring for a weapon, quickly slides into the ring, some kind of board. The camera cuts to it, and we see that it's a board of rusty nails. Just before, Darby is able to tear off his mask and reveal the assassin as Kenta, but it's too late, and Kenta hits a Pepsi plunge on Darby Allen into the bed of rusty nails and wins the AEW International Championship. 15-minute time limit here. Both competitors in this match are looking to pick up a victory to face Samoa Joe at the next pay-per-view All Out for the World Championship. After multiple tries, Osprey was unsuccessful to get Joe, and that denies him the main event here at All In London. Osprey has to be fuming here as he goes up to the top. Moonsault by Will Osprey, and the first fall of the match goes to Will Osprey. Swerve Strickland here also has to be on his A game in this match, knowing that this could be his final shot to get a chance against Samoa Joe. Osprey with these hard kicks to the face. Standing shooting star blocked with the knees. Swerve with a drop kick. Now Swerve going up to the top turnbuckle. Osprey stunned on the outside. He jumps, but Osprey moves. Swerve able to land though, showing the agility. Drop kick to the back of Osprey against the barricade. Now a neck breaker on the floor. Swerve Strickland's beginning to find his groove in this match. Both competitors now making their way back to the ring. Neither one wants to risk a fall on a count out. Osprey now puts Swerve on his shoulders, possibly looking for a snake eye. Hits it off the turnbuckle. Swerve makes his way to his feet, but Osprey starts to choke him out on the ropes. Has to be careful not to risk a disqualification here. Swerve rolls through. Osprey out at one, though. Swerve now tosses Osprey to the outside. Osprey gets right back in the ring, but's met with a Northern Light suplex and a drop kick to the back of the head. Swerve takedown. Is he gonna roll through? Thought he was going for a sharpshooter. Traps the arms. Curb stomps Will Osprey. Swerve now into the cover. Gets a two count on Will Osprey. Swerve now in command. Outside of the ring goes to the top turnbuckle. Diving leg drop hits Will Osprey right across the chest. Swerve rolls through sharpshooter this time. Pain of the sharpshooter has to be immense after taking that leg drop right to the chest. Osprey fights his way out though. Rolling stunner by Will Osprey. Swerve gets right back up and eats a forearm. Osprey now running, goes into the pin, and Osprey gets another cover off the hidden blade. This match is now 2 0 Will Osprey. Osprey possibly looking for a 3 0. Lifts him up for the Stormbreaker. A Stormbreaker by Osprey goes right into the cover, and Swerve kicks out of the Stormbreaker, saving a 3 0 start to this match. Swerve rolls to the outside, but we know you're not safe out there from Will Ospreay, but he fakes the dive to the outside. Swerve now tosses Osprey into the barricade, face first off the barricade. Swerve now lifts Osprey up, suplex position, Osprey floats over, chop block to Swerve. Both men still on the outside, we're almost up to a seven count here. Swerve again lifts Osprey up, mmm, fisherman buster, a seven count. Swerve puts Osprey back in the ring, Swerve on the offensive here, trying to build up some momentum in this match. Swerve goes in, European uppercut in the corner, he's got Osprey right where he wants him, looking for that comeback. He's going Daniel Bryan style. Swerve has the momentum. He needs to stay in the driver's seat. Possibly looking for that sharpshooter again. He locks it in. Osprey taps to the sharpshooter. This match is now 2-1. Swerve wasting no time. Goes right into the cover. And Osprey kicks out at 2. Swerve now throws Osprey off the ropes. Tries to go under but runs into him. Mm, Osprey follows it up with a hip toss. That little mistake by Swerve could cost him here. Sit out powerbomb by Osprey. Osprey taking advantage of that little mistake by Swerve. Looking for the Stormbreaker again. Twists through and hits it. Osprey into the cover. This match is now 3-1 Will Osprey. Osprey again into the cover. 
Swerve kicks out, though. Osprey with those Kawada-style kicks to the face. I believe a busted Swerve open. You can see the blood on the mat still there from the Darby Allen match. Osprey looking for that possible double moonsault again. He hits it again. Doesn't go for the cover, though. That's what got him the first fall in this mat. Handspring kick. Swerve is forced to roll out of the ring. Gets right back in, though. Gets met with an Irish rip. Osprey with a hip toss. Rolls through into a drop kick. Osprey again. Stalking his opponent. Possibly looking for another Stormbreaker. Swerve reverses, though. Rolls through with a Lariat. That counter was necessary by Swerve another Stormbreaker could have put this match way out of reach for him. Swerve now. Blockbuster on Osprey. Now Osprey's forced to retreat to the apron. Drop kick. Osprey falls right to the floor. Swerve took his time following up and runs right into a kick by Osprey. Standing shooting star on the outside. Osprey with another standing shooting star. And another standing shooting star. Osprey now lifts up Swerve. Revolution knee strike. Swerve might be out. Another standing shooting star. And another one. Osprey going to the well. Too many times. Swerve gets the knees up. Swerve back into the ring at a six count. Breaks the count and goes right back out after Osprey. Wants Osprey to get back in the ring so he can finish this match. Mm, Osprey with a hidden blade. That might be in. Osprey into the count. Three. This is a 4 1 matchup. Will Osprey. And Osprey's not done. He's looking to make this a 5 1 matchup with four. Four minutes left. Stormbreaker. Osprey into the cover and makes it a 5-1 matchup. We've only got four minutes left. If Swerve Strickland wants to even have any hopes in this match, he needs to start mounting some offense. And now Swerve twisting the arm of Osprey, trying to take out that hidden blade. Again, Swerve. Locks in the crossface, trying to take out that hidden blade. Osprey tap. This is a 5-2 match. Both of Swerve's falls have come from submission holds. Swerve goes for a belly to belly, but Osprey rolls through. Follows it up with a hard forearm. Standing shooting star into the cover and a pinfall. This is a 6-2 matchup now. And one has to think that's a desperation that Swerve Strickland's feeling right now. Osprey took the fact that he's not in the main event of London very personally. And he's letting it all show in this match. Making sure he gets one more shot at Samoa Joe. Jumping arm breaker. Rolls through into another submission. Osprey's been very vulnerable to submissions in this match. Swerve has been determined to work on these arms. Swerve with another arm breaker. Gonna twist him again, but we only have two minutes left. Swerve has to get this match going here. You can't really do limb work anymore. Now Swerve rolling Osprey to the middle of the ring. Swerve again. Rolling through into a sharpshooter. Osprey quickly able to get out of that submission, though. Swerve, arm trap, twisting neck breaker. Osprey rolls to the outside, saving another pinfall. Swerve has to get him back in the ring here. He's only got a minute and a half left. Waiting for Osprey to stand back up. Diving clothesline to the outside. A high impact move by Swerve, but it does nothing to help him win this match right now. And now Osprey just bludgeoning Swerve on the outside. Just killing the clock. Not going to let Swerve get any type of momentum left in this match. Going to use the full 10 count here. Now Swerve reverses. Throws Osprey in the barricade. Swerve has to go break this count. He's only got 50 seconds left. This is a hopeless time for Swerve. The only thing Swerve can hope for now is to just take Osprey out so he's not able to fight in the Joe match. Takes down Osprey. Skips the sharpshooter. Goes for this curb stomp again. Swerve is no longer trying to get falls. He's just trying to hurt Will Ospreay. Swerve again traps the leg. Rolls through into another sharpshooter. Osprey taps. This is now a 6-3 match, but there's not enough time for Swerve as he goes into the cover. He gets a pinfall. This is a 6-4 matchup. Swerve only has three seconds left, and this match is officially over. Will Osprey wins 6-4. And there you have it. Will Osprey redeems himself, not being able to fight in the main event, but destroys Swerve in an Iron Man match and secures a title match at the next pay-per-view against Samoa Joe. And we're now underway for the trio's titles. After stealing the titles from the Undisputed Kingdom, Bullet Club Gold now defends the trio's titles against the Undisputed Kingdom. Every time I say Undisputed Kingdom, I want to say Undisputed Era. I have to, like, fight my brain to say it. Jay White goes into the cover on Adam Cole. Juice throws Roddy into the barricade. And Jay White are working on Adam Cole in the ring. Roddy coming back in the ring to help save his partner. Goes right after Jay White. Angle slam by Roddy. I fucking love Roderick Strong, dude. Roderick Strong is like one of my top five wrestlers of all time. This dude's the fucking goat. Reverse suplex by Roderick. Kyle O'Reilly now lifts Jay White up. Adam Cole with a sleeper on Pac. The Undisputed Kingdom in control in the ring. O'Reilly goes for a cover. Strong to save it. Hits a suicide dive, but Jay White's able to get out at one. Now Juice coming in to help Jay White. Juice goes into the cover, but O'Reilly gets out at one. Kyle O'Reilly on the apron. Adam Cole and Roderick Strong back in the ring. Doesn't matter, though. Jay White, backdrop suplex on the apron. Roddy, though, mounting some offense. Gut buster. Jay White retreating. Kyle O'Reilly puts Pac back in the ring. And Roderick Strong's waiting there for him. Pac reverses, though. Hard shoulder tackle. Juice now puts Adam Cole on the barricade. Kyle O'Reilly throws Jay White back in the ring. Pac takes some time to show off, and it costs him. But Jay White's there to help his partner out. Trying to roll Roddy through into a Walls of Jericho here. He does. 
full Boston Crab mounted. Adam Cole rolling in the ring to save his partner from the submission here. Roddy rolls Jay White up. Schoolboy. Jay White able to get out at one. Now Adam Cole lifts Pac up. Mm, Northern Lights bomb. Jay White lifts Roddy up. Hard spinning Uranagi into a cover. And Roddy kicks out at two. Now Jay White goes after Kyle O'Reilly. Adam Cole lifts Pac up. Hard neck breaker goes into the cover. Somebody has to come in the ring and help out. Oh, he gets out at a two count. Jay White's right there to meet Adam Cole with a neck breaker. Now he lifts Adam Cole up. Sit out Fisherman Buster. Now Pac lifts Cole up. I'm pretty sure Roddy just hit an end of heartache. Now Juice Robinson stalling vertical suplex on O'Reilly. Pac with some kind of handspring bullshit in the background I didn't quite catch. And now Pac is arguing with the referee. Super kicks Kyle O'Reilly. Roderick rolls out of the ring. Bullet Club goal in complete control. Blade Runner by Jay White. Kylo Riley able to kick out of the Blade Runner, but now Pac has Adam Cole up, looking for that bully choke, and Pac's got that submission locked in. There's no one to help Adam Cole. Ooh, but Strong's able to get there, and now Strong getting beat up. Adam Cole makes it back to his feet. The Undisputed Era doing a good job of keeping at least one competitor active in this match, but Bullet Club Gold is also doing a great job of dividing and conquering. Pac now lifts Kyle O'Reilly up, sit out Powerbomb on the floor. Juice goes into a cover, but it gets broken up by Roddy. Roderick Strong with Pac now in the corner. Hard forearms to the back by Roddy. Roddy off the ropes. Jay White's in his way. Runs right by him. Hard kick, but Jay White's right there. Arm trap suplex. Kyle O'Reilly. Adam Cole outside the wing. Working on Juice Robinson. Pac now runs towards Suicida by Pac. Pac with a standing suiting Char. Again, we find Roddy in the ring by himself. All competitors outside the ring. Juice Robinson goes off the barricade. Super kick on Pac against the apron. And now the Undisputed Kingdom building some momentum. Adam Cole super kick. Straight jacket German suplex. Goes to help Kyle O'Reilly. Jay White and Juice Robinson right there. Pac now back in. And now Bullet Club Gold back on the offense. Adam Cole with a suicide dive takes out Juice. And now Adam Cole finds himself in a bad spot. Pac and Jay White are right there. Jay White lifts him up. Adam Cole rolls out. And now Kyle O'Reilly back. Backdrops Pac off the steps. Now Juice and Adam Cole roll into the ring. And Juice waiting for Adam Cole to get up. This could be the end. DDT face buster by Juice. Looking to win this match. And he, Adam Cole kicks out. And now Pac waiting for Adam Cole to get up. Juice not going to let that happen. Adam Cole trying to fight his way out of the Bullet Club gold here. Roddy comes in to help but gets caught. Now Juice with Roddy in the corner. Irish whips him to the other side of the ring. Pac now has Adam Cole caught in the ropes. Spinning suplex. Now Roddy's caught in the middle of the ring. Backdrop. This is looking bad for the Undisputed Kingdom. Mm, Roddy reverses Pac though with a knee to the face. Springboard drop kick by Roddy. Roddy now pulling Pac to the middle of the ring. But Bullet Club Gold rolls in. Juice again with the face buster. Jay White locks in a submission on Kyle O'Reilly. Pac is just waiting for Adam Cole to come in so he can take him out. Loses the chase though. Kyle O'Reilly is able to get out. And Roddy's able to kick out. Jay White snap suplex. Roddy gets slammed by Pac. Adam Cole makes his way back into the ring. The last standing member of the Undisputed Kingdom. Adam Cole again sprinting outside the ring trying to save the submission. Pac there to save him, but Kyle O'Reilly gets out. The submission expert Kyle O'Reilly able to save this match for himself. Blade Runner on Adam Cole. Kyle O'Reilly able to save the match for his partner. He takes down Adam Cole. He takes down Jay White and puts him in a heel hook. Jay White able to fight out of this heel hook. Roddy able to fight out of Pac's submission hold. Moves right into the Blade Runner. And there's nobody to save Roderick Strong right now. Blade Runner on Kyle O'Reilly as well. Into the cover. Adam Cole at the last second able to make the save. Kyle O'Reilly in the apron sweeps the leg of Jay White. Pac to the outside. Juice goes over the top, sacrificing himself. Now we got Pac and Adam Cole in the ring. Pac lifts him up. Hard slam into the submission. The Brutalizer taps to the Brutalizer before Roddick Strong can save him. Bullet Club Gold retain their stolen titles. All right, folks, in the moment we've all been waiting for all night for the AEW World Championship, Samoa Joe takes on the challenger, Malachi Black. The fact that this man has had no pay-per-view single matches in AEW is a fucking crime. And there's the ring of the bell. Malachi runs right in and gets caught into a belly-to-belly, -belly, trying to start off this match hot. But Joe showing why he is the AEW world champion. Joe throws Malachi off the rope. Hard Irish whip. Shoulder tackle blocked by Malachi. And now we see the expert striking of Malachi come into play. Both of these men are experts in striking and submission. Malachi going in for the work on Joe's knee. Misses a stomp. Ooh, hard lariat. Malachi Irish whip Joe off the ropes. Joe goes over. Malachi showing the power by jumping, dumping Joe to the outside. Now he hits the foot stomp to the chest. Trying to drive the wind out of the champion. Reverses a clothesline. Back kick. V-trigger miss. Kick to the face. Again, these men showing why they're so skilled in striking. Joe goes behind. Suplex on the floor. And now Joe back in the ring. Malachi has to answer the 10 count. 
Joe does not. Goes for a suicide, dives by surprise and misses. Now Malachi up to the top. Diving Meteora by Malachi. He hits it. Mm, misses the diving foot stomp though. Hard kick by Joe. Just tossing Malachi on the outside. We've seen Joe miss that suicide dive before and get right back up from it. Joe seems to be immune to the concrete floor. Joe throws Malachi into the barricade. Misses, hits his arm. Jumping Meteora by Malachi. Both men now on the outside still fighting. We're up to an eight count. Malachi rolls in the ring. He's not breaking the count. He cannot win the title by count out here. Malachi picks up Joe. Hard strike to the arm. Revolution knee strike. Falls into the cover on Joe. Joe is able to get out at one. Malachi again puts the knee to the arm. Trying to take out the not only the striking, but the suplexing of Samoa Joe. You injure the arm, you also take out Joe's offense with submissions. Malachi now working on the legs of Joe, trying to take out that vertical base. All of Joe's power comes from his legs. Malachi taking his time to show off. A possible mistake as Joe's able to get some offense in off that. Throws him to the outside. This isn't good for the competitor. Hard backdrop on the apron. And Joe just kicks him in the stomach. Now Joe with a go behind. Throws him against the steps with a suplex. Malachi moving in fast on Joe. Traps the arm. Hard kick to the face. Malachi again showing off. And it's going to cost him as Joe catches him. Hard power bomb by Samoa Joe. And now Joe showing off, and it costs him as Malachi moves in with these kicks. Rolls through, picks the ankle of Samoa Joe. Malachi now picking up Samoa Joe. Spinning back knee strike, and it hits the target perfectly, but Joe kicks out. Malachi now moving up, diving rolling knee strike. Malachi very skilled with his knees and leg strikes. Mm, jumping cutter by Malachi Black. Malachi showing off again as Joe's now reeling in the corner. Malachi moves in. Joe reverses. Joe now twists the arm. This is not going to be good. Joe picking Malachi back up with these hard strikes. Joe puts Malachi in the corner again. Lifts him up. Could he be looking for the muscle buster? Joe sees the end. But Samoa Joe is doesn't go for the cover. Instead, it looks like he's waiting for his opponent to get back up. Interesting strategy by Samoa Joe. And it may cost him as he gets caught with a knee. Very cocky strategy. Now he gets caught with a black mass. Mm, Joe's able to get out it too. Joe did grab the ropes, realizing the referee wasn't in position to see it. Still able to kick out it too. And Malachi now relentless with his strikes. Joe gave him an opening as he taken it. Ooh, now Joe reverses, gets Malachi up on his shoulders. Stun gun. Mm, a hard kick by Joe. Malachi is now forced to roll to the outside. Joe with a very rare time going up to the top. Diving missile drop kick by Samoa Joe. You're a noggy on the floor. Malachi reverses the strike by Joe. Trying to get in some of his own. Has to get the champion back in the ring. Malachi now stalking his opponent. Could he be looking for Black Mass? He is and he hits it. Pinpoint accuracy on the Black Mass. And it beats Samoa Joe. New world champion Malachi Black.